Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools, where we help everyday folks leverage third-party tools and applications to supercharge your workflows. Now, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Google Data Studio and how you can use custom queries in order to get data into your Data Studio reports. Now, custom query is essentially just writing a SQL query to use as opposed to just picking a random table out of your connection. What this allows you to do is to use complex queries such as joins or calculations in order to get specific data into your report without having to connect multiple tables and hoping that you can blend those data sets together through the Data Studio UI. But there's a lot to go over, so let's go ahead and just dive right into it. All right, so up on the screen, we have a new data source connection that we're setting up or actually entered in the Postgres database host name and all that. We're gonna be working with a Shakespeare database uh, that has a bunch of their works. And see here, a bunch of tables that we have. And what you might want to do is you might want to actually have a combination of it. So let's say we wanted to get the total word counts that each character has uh, for a particular work and see what their percentage is for that. What you're gonna to have to do is you're gonna to have to create a custom query. So underneath of the tables option, you have an option for custom query, and all you have to do is just write some SQL in here. So before we actually write the SQL in here, is once you write it and everything like that, you're gonna to have to reconnect or just connect it, and it's gonna give you all the data. So before we do that, it's best practice to open up a, uh, a SQL querying um, application, like we have PG Admin here. I already have a query that I've been writing, and this one joins together multiple different tables, four tables in total. Uh, one also thing, quick thing before we actually run this is that this is taking all the columns that are available. And since you are you know, creating a dashboard out of it, you most likely don't need all of the columns. So it's best practice when you are connecting you know, the table or database to Google Data Studio that you select the individual columns that you do want. So let's go ahead and pick up a couple of here. So we can use the work ID. That's always good. Then we can take in the work uh, title and name. You can see over on the left over here to have our work table, which has the title and the long titles. We can take both of those just in case. And basically, once you've finished writing out your query, uh, you can take this and then plug it right back into the Google Data Studio uh, custom query form. So over here, now that we've selected all of our columns that we want, we ran it, everything looks good. When we look through the data set, we have the paragraph ID as well as the total words within that work and then the word count for that particular character uh, in that paragraph. So when we do connect it to Data Studio, we can just group these up by the character name. So going back over to our Data Studio uh, data source setup, let's go ahead and paste the custom query in there, hit reconnect. It's gonna tell you if there are any changes since the last time you connected it. Just go ahead and hit apply. And then you'll be able to see all the fields that are located within your query. And then from there, you just create the report like you normally would. Once that loads up, you can start creating tables or charts or however else you might want to actually do that. Since you are using a custom query, you can actually do some pretty cool stuff by putting in some of the heavier uh, lifting within your query instead. So let's say we wanted to sum up all the word counts for the characters based on the work. We can actually get rid of the paragraph ID over here and then wrap the word count value with the sum function. And then from there, we do a group by. So we'll just group by the first five areas. And then from there, when we run it, We'll already get the combined sum of the word counts. And then we can also name this something that's a little bit easier. So we can say character total word count. And then as long as this runs nicely, we can go back to our connection and then update the custom query, reconnect it. And it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna tell us what fields are missing as well as what the new fields are. We hit apply and that auto update our data source we we'll able to see that when we edit the data source everything's already updated we have the character total word count here so we can start utilizing it within our report cool thing that we can actually do is since we do have the data source now all hooked up we can actually go in here and start modifying certain things so we can leverage the data studio platform to add in custom fields that we don't have within our database 
So let's say this one is going to be character word share. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the total uh, character word count and we're going to divide it by the total words. Once that finishes checking and we get the green checkbox on the bottom, we can go ahead and save this. So in our data set, now we'll be able to use the new field that we just created. So total character word share, can add that, can add in the char name, we can also add in the total words for that piece of work. So let's actually go ahead and rearrange this a little bit. We don't need the record count. And once you display that, you can also change the character word typed from a number over to a percentage. And that way, you can actually see that within some of these, that it has only 3% of the word counts within the two gentlemen of Verona as well as the other one. So it's a really neat way to curate your data set. And when you are creating your dashboards, you can use both custom queries as well as the built-in features within the Data Studio data source uh, features in order to create calculations and display the data that you want for the users or the viewers of your dashboard and reports. If you're new to Data Studio and you want to figure out how to use it, make sure to check out this video that we did. It'll tell you all the ins and outs that you need to know to get started in building beautiful dashboards and reports in Data Studio. But I'm a guy called Joe. This is Bootstrapping Tools. It's been a pleasure, and we're out.